Hi, in this video, I will show you how we can import our tax information into TurboTax for tax return. So in this video, all the things, I mean all the data which I will use, those are imaginary data and I am giving you an example by which we can file our tax return thing using TurboTax. In this example, I am using Grubhub the tax 1099-NEC form. If you earn more than 600, then you will get this type of form from Grubhub. Based on this document, you can easily import all the information on TurboTax. So let's get started. If you do Grubhub delivery and if you earn more than 600, then you will get this type of form, which is called 1099-N. EC from Grubhub. This is the drugs document which you will find and based on this you have to complete the forms in TurboTax. So long is still short. Let's go to TurboTax and let's see how we can complete the forms in TurboTax. So this is my TurboTax account. Once you logged in TurboTax then in the left side you will find a long menu. So our target is to complete our 1099 uh, NEC income from Grubhub. Just click on the federal and then this type of page will come. So here you have to answer your own way. I am uh, completing this information based on my own way but you have to read each line and you have to answer and once you answer all the uh, questions then there will be a continue button at the bottom. Okay, I completed all the things and then after that I will see this continue. Just press continue button and you will be in this page. Now we have to complete the 1099 NEC but here it is not there. So here we have to click add more income in this button. If we click here all the forms will be visible over there and here you will find the 1099 NEC is there. So here if you click the show more it will give you more details. So just uh, if you press the I then you will find that 1099 NEC form is there you have to complete from this part. Okay, so from this section just click on start button and then it will give you the option to complete. The first question is did you have any self-employment income expenses? Yes, we have because we did Uber or Grubhub something like that. So we have to press yes button. Once you press then here it will ask you targeters can help you. We don't need basically so I'm choosing this thing no right not right now and then click continue button and then here it is asking tell us the type of self-employment work you do. So here it is just the description you can type anything I'm typing like right sharing income for example okay once you type it then press the continue button and here it will ask you we need a little more information so this is our right share driving right so i'm choosing this option and then after that we have to scroll down and we'll find continue button just press the continue button and here it will ask you which uh, okay, how does the ride share driving work fit into your big picture? Okay, if you are full time, then you can choose the first option. If you are part time, then you can choose the second option. Like it's a side job. For me, it's a side job. So I'm choosing this option. But for your case, you have to choose your own option and then press continue button. Once you press continue button, then we have another question. Tell us about how long you have worked in ride share driving. If you start last year only, then put the date. Otherwise, if you stop, then you can click there or if you don't start or stop, that means you are driving for this for a long time, you can press this on and then press continue button. And here, did you make these payments for ride share driving or I uh, paid for 600? Yes, I made that because here we are seeing that my income is more than uh, 600, right? So I have to choose the first option. Yes, I made at least one of this payment and press continue button. Then it shows it looks like you are need to send a 99 so i'm choosing yes i did or will return them okay then press the continue button again and then again it is asking do you have your own i don't have so i choose no and press the continue button tell us if you uh, if any of this less common situation apply to this or for me the best option is none so i'm choosing that and press the continue button and here there is a overview that i completed this form like this uh, if you want to change you can do and then press lo looks good and here it is asking you uh, which type of company I didn't do anything okay so what I can do I can just press on the continue button 
okay because uber lift is not there i did grab up only okay now here it is asking which type of form so for me 1099-nc so for the first radio button i have to check mark okay because here we are seeing 1099-nc right so i'm going to the turbo tracks i'm choosing the first option and then scroll down and press the continue button once i press the continue button it will ask you to complete this information uh, the pair information here it is the pair information right we are seeing pair and we have to copy uh, the company name like graph of something like that and then i'm going to paste it here okay now here we have to uh, give uh, this tin number okay i'm going to copy here two digit dash this format okay so i have to choose that format so the first one is the, that format and i'm putting that value from there from the 1990 nc and then i have to declare the income so here the income is this much so i'm putting it here in box one and for me the other boxes are empty there is no information so i don't need to complete any other information okay and then i'm going to scroll and then i'm going to hit the continue button to complete this form once i hit the continue button it is asking did you have any more sell employment income if you have then you have to press yes otherwise you press no for me there is nothing so i press no and then continue button okay now this is the direction page once i put all the income now it's time to deduct some of the expenses i press the continue button and turbotax uh, will calculate something in the back end basically it will uh, give you a couple of forms where you can put the directions for example it is giving me vehicle right i can deduct the vehicle vehicle mileage thing or gas something like that okay then there is car and equipment rental this type of thing i don't need this thing i can es skip and then communication yes obviously i use my cell phone and my internet uh, for this uh, purposes then supplies i had some supplies expenses uh, that thing and then that's all especially and then press on continue button and once you press the continue button you'll find this information so here if you scroll down a little bit you'll see the income which i uh, which you put it is showing there and all the direction will be down so this is the income and below all the direction now we can add direction one by one i choose the first one and here it is asking uh, did you use your car yes i used i put yes and then it is asking uh, your vehicle description suppose i drove my honda accord ex car so i am putting it here and then here it is asking uh, the type of size of the car something like that okay and uh, the date okay so i started driving from this day so i'm typing on imaginary date like 0101 2020 and hit the continue button tell us about owner of the vehicle i am the owner so i put it and continue button and then after that uh, it is asking uh, did you use this uh, car for other uh, other purposes no i didn't so i used like this type of thing okay continue and then did you keep track of my mile yes i did and then press continue button and then after that it is asking the total uh, mileage how much i drove for my uh, grab up earnings okay so here at first if you check carefully check here the total mileage you drove it includes everything how many miles you drove suppose i drove like four thousand or five thousand miles for example and as i use this car only for this purpose so i can put four thousand but if i drive for my personal uses then we have to deduct that mileage from here okay and then scroll down and press the continue button and it is asking is any other car used for this purpose no nothing else so i'm pressing no and then i'm hitting continue button and then once you hit continue button then we can go to the next page so here it is showing that the external mileage direction is 2300 based on as we drove 4000 miles right and here you will find the details you can choose uh, check mark those thing and then press continue button and once you press the continue button it will give you some other expenses for me there is no other expenses so i am going to ignore this thing and i am pressing the continue button and here we are saying that 2300 dollar we already can deduct from this amount which we earn like 9999 dollar for example and press continue and it is asking did i use any other car for this type of delivery no i didn't so i choose it and press the continue button once you press the continue button then if you scroll you will see 
uh, all the income and all the deduction it noted everything okay about the mileage now get let's go to the communication and here uh, just scroll down here I use cell phone right so I can deduct that amount like cell phone plus uh, internet uh, for delivery I had uh, separate mobile for delivery purposes so I am putting this thing but if you uh, use your cell phone or mobile both for uh, this purpose and also for your personal purpose please uh, read other pages or talk to your tax uh, like CPA guy how you can actually con uh, actually complete this part this part I cannot tell you more details okay so basically I use my own cell phone that's why I did this this way okay so after that I can uh, complete if any other things like internet thing I can also deduct so press the continue button and once I press the continue button then uh, the communication is complete now the last part supplies so here during this covid time I need to clean my car uh, every time after his delivery uh, I need to hand sanitize my uh, something like that so um, like uh, e every month I used couple of dollars like okay so I have to uh, I can deduct so I actually calculate all of them but here I am giving you an example like one thousand two hundred dollar for uh, like 2020 and then press the continue button and then if you scroll down here now this page you are seeing that this is the total income and all the deductions are down and if you scroll down you will see the vehicle like $2,300 deduction then communication $600 deduction and supplies $1,200 deduction and this all deduction you can exclude from your original earn, uh, earning basically that will be your net income so that's all guys in this way you can easily complete your graph of earning which is 1099 NEC uh, form uh, in your TurboTax that's all thank you guys for watching the video if you like this video please hit the like button and consider subscribe to our channel